Let's get started with ways of creating delta table. Easiest way to do is this create table if not exists and you give here your table name. Define the schema and you tell that this is a delta table. Then the important part is location where your all the parquet file is going to be saved so you just run this. One important part is if not exists, this is optional part. Let's see what happens if you don't keep it. If I remove it and run it again and if it finds a table, it will throw an error, so it is always a good practice to give it this way. Now we've got an empty table, so if you query it, you're not going to find anything. Now we can go ahead and we can make some DML operation. We're going to ingest three records into this dot. This is very much similar to your any standard SQL. Internally what it does is, it creates parquet file only. Now if you query again, you can find three records here. Dot. This is as simple as that. Now we move on to the second method. The second way of creating delta table is that if you already have some parquet file available in your data lake, you can just pick those files and you can convert that into a delta. What this step is going to do is it is going to read the file which is available in this place into data frame and then this data frame will be written into this location in the form of delta. Let's run this and see what happens. It's running, it's taking some time now. You can see this is a data. This is how my data is stored in the CSV file. Now what we'll do is we'll create a table on top of this location, which we just now saved here. This is the same location. Now I'm going to convert this location into the table, and you'll notice that here we have not given any schema it will infer the schema directly based on the file. It will have the same number of column as available in your file. Let's query this table that you can see all those columns available here. This is exactly matching with our file output, so this is our second way of creating. In line with that same thing that we can do is we can create the same delta table with the data frame also here also more or less you're doing the same thing. We're reading from this JSON. It supports CSV, JSON and Parquet, all three formats. Now here what you're doing is you're reading from this location and we're adding one more column called date. This date we are populated by converting this so in original form the date was different. But now after converts and this is how it will look. One important feature. We want to tell here is the partition. So if you have a huge table and you want to make use of your partitioning, you can provide your partition by here.it supports partition and just like any SQL horizontal partitioning, what is the difference you can see is when you display this files in the file location where we have created this delta table you can see that there is a subfolder created based on the date and because we have these different dates you can see this.